beautiful today. You really do. You look stunning. Your hair is perfect. Your, your dress is amazing. I, I can't read your handwriting on this one. I, I, I don't know. What, these, are, these are, this is my prop. But, but really, you, you both look great. Um, I'm very happy for both of you. When Lori first told me that she and Brad had gotten engaged after seven years, my initial reaction was, are, are you sure you're not rushing into this? I mean, do you really know each other? It's, you know, you might need to give it a little bit more time. But that was obviously followed very closely by excitement and anticipation for this day. Um, part of the excitement and anticipation is because I grew up in a house with two sisters, Lori and my other sister, Rachel. And I've always wanted a brother who didn't have four legs. No offense to my Schnauzers, Max and Charlie, but Brad, it's really you know, wonderful to, <laughs> to invite you into our family. We are really, really so happy to have you become part of our family. Um, speaking of growing up with Lori, uh, as a child, my memories of Lori are of torment, <laughs> torture, and of love, of course of love, but I have to be honest, they're, they're mostly of torment and torture. Being that for the first 10 years of my life, Lori completely ignored me. I, she just acted like I didn't exist. Okay, I'm, I'm very sorry after about 8 years, pardon the exaggeration. But after, after these 8 to 10 years, um, Lori finally realized that I was here to stay, and we became really best friends ever since. And um, actually, people have commented over the past 14, if we're going by the eight years, to 16 years of my life, how lucky I am to have such a close relationship with, my, with, with Lori. And I do want to thank you for being my best friend for the past 14 to 16 years. <laughs> um, but looking around this room, I'm happy that I'm, I know that I'm not the only person with this best friend title because Lori surrounds herself with people who love her and who care about her and who accept her for all of her quirks and idiosyncrasies, none of which I will mention. You're, you're welcome. I know. <laughs> but I know that there is nobody who loves and accepts and cares about Lori in this room more so than Brad. So from her old best friend to her new, very best friend in the entire world, I wish you the best of luck. I am so happy for you. I am, I am so glad that you found each other. So if you would all please raise your glass. <laughs> Thank you. May your life be filled with happiness and laughter. May your love last forever. And most importantly, may I please come visit as often as possible. I miss you guys so much. I love you both. Congratulations to Lori and Brad. Brad had a grown-up apartment in Brookhaven. 
who's working a steady job delivering packages, UPS delivery man. <laughs> and Lori was much busier managing to get to her classes, finish her homework, hit the gym, and still had time to have dinner with Brad after work, which was very impressive for a college student. So over the next two years, I had the distinct pleasure of spending time with these two as their relationship flourished between family dinners at Taco Mac, watching sports on Brad's humongous TV, <laughs> hanging out at the sack pool on Sundays. And by May 2004, Lori and I had graduated, and the three of us were packing up their U-Haul so that Lori could join Brad, who was now selling timeshares in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was a sentimental moment as we sat on the floor of Lori's empty apartment with Dusty and Puppy yeah. to have a to have a final breakfast of Special K before they hit the road for Orlando. And it was a very big move for them. They were both very nervous as to how it would work out, and I knew that ultimately they would be fine. Because they were going at it together, and no matter what challenge they faced, nothing could stop this dynamic couple here. So here we are, almost six years from the date, and we're back in Atlanta where it all started, and I can't help but marvel at what these two have accomplished in that time. They've gotten their MBAs, embarked in exciting new careers, and now they've bought a beautiful new home together. And we've all waited so long for these two to finally tie the knot, but being here today and watching Brad and Lori exchange vows, it still seems like just yesterday when I got the first phone call about a budding relationship between these two. So let's raise our glasses <laughs> and toast this amazing couple. May you both build on the great memories you shared with everyone here today. Mazel tov, Brad and Lori, L'chaim, love you guys. Very yeah. nicely done. All right, we're going to call the band back up. Um, we're going to ask the father of the bride, and the bride please step forward. We're also going to have, we have a very special guest for this next song. We're going to do the Father Daughter Dance. We're going to be joined by the bride's sister. Where's Rachel? All right, right. What do you think of the speech? Good. It's pretty good. Right. Good work. I've done it for a month. I'm the guy. <laughs> oh, all right. You got to get off the stage now.